bloodied and bruised and hurting and kind of shamed and wishing you could just crawl away. You you need somebody getting up to you and, and just get up and get back on. I'm dying here. Can get up and get back on. For Paul, it meant getting back up and going back in to the city that had just stoned him. You see that? Don't misunderstand me. Him getting up impresses me, but not as much as him getting up and going back into the city where he had just been stoned. You see, him getting back up was under the power of the Holy Spirit because many theologians think that he was probably dead here and God just raised him back up because he wasn't done with him. And I, I kind of agree with them. So God just said, you ain't, you ain't coming to glory yet. You've got way more to suffer. Get back. That was God. But the decision to go back into the city where he had been stoned Reveals the heart of the champion. It reveals the heart of a man who is determined to not be defeated by circumstances and situation or people or the devil. And I'm here to tell you, some of you, God's standing you back up. Not so you can run from the place that hurt you, but so you can stand back up in the midst of it and say, so you thought you'd killed me, but I'm still standing. Now, he did leave the next day for Derby, which I think was probably a wise thing. But think about what it did for the saints to watch him come back into town. They knew a God was in heaven that could deliver them and save them. And that's what you and I are here for. Ultimately, that's what you and I are here for. We're not here to see how big a ministry or big a name we can make for ourselves. We're, we're not here to do all... I mean, God can do what He wants to. One of the Old Testament prophets told his, one of His prophet's sons, he said, don't seek great things for yourself. Paul told Christians in, in 1st and 2nd Thessalonians, one, one or the other, just read them both, they're short books, that just, just seek to lead a quiet life. Love God and seek to live a quiet life. And then whatever comes out of that, let God take care of. But there are people in your circle that need to see you get back up. Because they need to see how strong not you are, but how strong your God is. And that's what He's given you the privilege of doing. He's given you the privilege of being able to go back in and say, you know something? Devil, you tried to destroy me, but if God be for me, who can be against me? And then it becomes more than just something we rattle off that we just blatantly, we just blankly put out there sometimes. It becomes real when we say, greater was he that was in me than he that was in the world. Well, how'd you do it? God did it. Where are you going? I'm going on to talk more about God. After what just happened to you, don't you aren't you afraid the next city's going to do? Don't matter. He raised me up here. If they stop me there, they'll, he'll raise me up again. You see, I, I'm convinced the Lord's just trying to get he, if, whatever it takes. Whatever it takes, he's trying to get the fear of death out of us. He's trying to get the fear of embarrassment and the fear of shame. He's trying to get pride out of us. So dead people don't care what anybody else thinks but God. I promise you there's not one person in the grave today who cares anything about what anybody on earth thinks. All they care about is the God in whom they're in the presence of. And God's trying to get us that way now. Just going to end with this question. What purpose, what destiny are you going to miss because you refuse to get back up and get back on?
I like it because when it's not your fault, God wants you to get up and get on with it immediately. Both these characters. David went in his tent. Yep, faced a major defeat. Went in his tent, got a word from God, went back out, rallied the troops, and went straight and reclaimed what the enemy had stolen from him. Paul gets up. Doesn't even say he healed the prayer meeting. Says he just got back up and went back into Derby, went back into Lystra, spent the night, probably ministered to the disciples, they ministered to him, and he left the next morning. You don't have to stay in the place of your greatest defeat, but you have to stand up and get back on in the midst of it. You have to face it. Because if you don't face your defeats, you'll never get back on the horse.